Hello and welcome back to the F1 section of Mark's Robbo's podcast. Today we will be discussing multiple topics, but first, time to do some plugging. We are, I'm going to be plugging our Twitter, Instagram, our personal Twitters, um, anyone else who appears on the podcast Twitters, Facebook, TikTok, Apple Music, All uh, of it. Apple Podcast, Spotify. What else are we on? SoundCloud. SoundCloud, thank you, Connor. I always forget about SoundCloud. That's the one. <laughs> I don't use it, so I always forget about it. It's SoundCloud. All other social medias. Um, my Twitch, the Discord are in the description now. Links to those. Join those in the description and just come and waffle some absolute shit. Because that's Hello. what we can do. So. Right. Sorry, my head dropped. But yeah, so first, let's get into our discussion topic. The main one being Lewis Hamilton has signed a brand new one year deal with Mercedes. Meaning he will. Finally! Means he can stop talking After about months it. and months of careful consideration, a deal is finally done. Cons- I don't think it's consideration. I think it's him going, I want a one year deal. And he went, I don't give you a one year deal. And then he went, <laughs> one year deal. Probably. Or him asking for too, for, too, for too much money. I don't think money ever came into it. I think it was linked to contract was probably a shoot. But he has signed a one-year deal with an option to extend for two more or extend for a second year and then there's the possible third year again, which he won't do. He might extend for one more. I think he'll... I think, I think he'll stay for, for one more year. I think if he wins the championship this year, then I think that's an over. Uh, but I, I think if he doesn't win it this year, then I think he'll stay on for another season. I think he stays on until he beats Schumacher, to be honest, which will be this year. His next one, won't it? Yeah. yeah. But again, if he if he if he, if he leaves at the end of this season, then Mercedes, you could say they've already got someone lined up. What could they do? Which which which, which has got to be Russell. Yeah. Bottas's Mercedes career relies on Hamilton saying, I don't want to drive another year. However, if Lewis, so let's say Lewis wins next season but chooses to stay on, Russell won't be in the Mercedes. Flat out, he won't. Because in Lewis's contract, he has the ability to veto any teammate that Mercedes suggests, reportedly. And Mercedes probably have done that knowing Mercedes. Lewis is good friends with Valtteri. They seem to get on. They have good banter. He's Lewis's perfect second-hand man. If Russell comes in, Russell probably won't listen to Lewis as much because obviously he'll want to prove his point. So I, I think as long as Lewis is in the car, Valtteri's in the car. As long as Valtteri's Lewis is number two, he's in a Mercedes. So, I mean... Sure. But if you think about it, Mercedes will have three drivers for two seats at the end of next season. Lewis, Valtteri and Russell. And I think those it will either be... I can, I almost feel like it's guaranteed that Valtteri Bottas will almost be in the seat next year. Not next year, the year after. Because Mercedes aren't the team that will bring in... Uh, Mercedes aren't the team that will bring in two new drivers... Lewis want Valtteri to stay on because he won't want Russell to compete with, I don't think. And if Russell comes in, they'll probably keep Valtteri as the more experienced. Like when the clerk came into Ferrari, Vettel was still the number one. Like Bottas will be yeah. the number one for a bit until Russell trounces him. And then have that experience in the car, and I so I almost think Valtteri is in a fairly safe spot. I think this new signing of his contract, Valtteri's gone. Time to put my feet up. I've got a Mercedes deal coming. Especially if he think... does that Valtteri seven point and um, performs up until the third round of the season, like gets two or three wins in the first three races. And then 
you know, there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, so there's nothing. Like, you know what? You can't be fighting to start, have a new two year deal. So, Mark, as we haven't really heard from you, what's your thoughts? Uh, I think it's very good that Lewis is staying on. I think I said before that I feel like he's going to stay till he wins his eighth. Um, I think he'll do one year in the new in the new uh, engine and the new everything that's coming into 2022 um, so that he can say that he's been in. Do you think he'll do another season after this season? Yeah. I think he will. Would he sign a two-year deal then? Because I feel like he wants to see what goes on and what happened and what the car's going to be like by 2022. I think he's more wary of what's going on and he can do just a yearly thing where maybe he's done it and he doesn't want to do it anymore. Um, it's one of those things as well that I don't I, I'm going to disagree with what you said about Bottas I don't think Bottas will be there um, at the start of 2022 I don't see that at all I see them going to Bottas going alright, thank you for what you've done see you later um, it's going to be Russell that will get straight into that seat. Uh, the winner of the virtual virtual Grand Prix over the weekend on Silverstone, beating Alex Albon because Albon had a penalty. Entertaining to watch, by the way. Um, it's quite fun. And Russell was just taking the piss out of Alex the whole way around. It's quite fun to watch. Um, Mark? Yeah. If, if Bottas doesn't get the Mercedes seat next season, do you think he'll get another seat? Yeah, I think or, he'll go or, Williams. Or do you think yeah. pass him over? Yeah. I Williams. think Williams would have gone back to being competitive the way they are now, the way they're building for 2022, to a point where Williams will be able to go to Bottas and go, oh, number one. you're number one. You will be the main person around here with Jensen Button, where Button will be helping as well. And what you'll both do is create an environment around here that we want to build on that wasn't here before. Um, it's going to be a direct replacement for Russell. Russell will go in the Mercedes. It will either be Hamilton there or it will be Perez. Um, Perez won't go Mercedes. Well, you don't know because Perez hasn't got a seat for 2022 and Albon will be back for 2022. I, um, don't, I don't think he'll... I don't think Albon will be... That's good, he's finishing eighth this season. Maybe. I don't think Albon will be in the Red Bull, though. Oh, he if will he be... Back, they, they have a very much a long-term plan for Alex Albon compared to anyone else. Um, what I'm saying... I think that's why they sent him away. What I'm saying is that Albon, it'll be Albon, Sonoda and Alpha Tauri. It'll be Perez and Verstappen in Red Bull. I don't think they will. Gasly think, won't be in the Red Bull family anymore. I think it would be interesting because I feel like it won't be. I feel like Perez will be gone. Um, I feel like this is the, the gap season that it's time for Perez now to show what he's got. Um, this is either going to be a do or die situation for Perez in this in this season. This is either going to show him that if you give him a good car, he could potentially be one of the best drivers um, in F1. Or it could go, hmm, you got lucky with Red Bull, uh, with uh, forcing whatever they're fucking called. Very That's simple. Martin now. I've got to fucking call him oh, Martin from now on. Why would, oh. why would, in my mind, Red Bull album out of the seat for a year, which will only make him get worse? It took Ocon, who was, to put it better, or put it simply, better than Albon in terms of form and performance, then took him two-thirds of a season to get back to where he was. Maybe if you get, if you're around experienced drivers, like he's going to be around Max, who... Hey, Max is an experienced driver. No, I don't though. class him as experienced. I, I class Perez um, a very well-rounded um, driver that's been there, done that, got the T-shirt in everything in Formula One. Why, in my opinion, it's like... The only way I could sort, the only way that I could sort of do like a metaphor to it, it's something like football where you give him a mentor. You've got to give Albon a mentor for someone like, right? This is how I would do it. This is how we would get the corner. This is how much. This is this is the way that we work with the tires. 
Perez won't be there. It will be one of those where Albon just sits in the background and listens and asks questions if he can, um, but not disrupted Perez too much where he concentrates. It's one of those situations where it, it looks more positive for Albon than it does anyone else because he's going to be he's going out to go and listen and mentor and not being Alpha uh, Alpha Tauri is one of those situations where you've got a seat you're not learning you're just in a seat not learning where you can learn. no because when you're at Alpha Tauri you're still a lot of time based with the other Red Bull guys where I think to link it back to football here, not driving for a year you latch lose much sharpness if you get one like you're not as yeah there's two ways of looking at it DTM, I think. And I'm not trying to slag off DTM because I think it's good but DTM is sort of the EU equivalent to NASCAR racing it's different it's GT racing it's not high G-force compared to F1 it's still high in G-force but not to F1 standards it's just not F1 and realistically throwing him back in that red ball is like throwing a toddler in a deep end. It's only going to end with them drowning. Yeah, but it does or it doesn't. It all depends on the man himself. It all depends no, on... The only, if I can just say this, the only reason he's not in that car this year is because the two main guys at Red Bull, Horner and Helmut Marco, went, you're not good enough. His confidence is shot to bits. That car wasn't catered towards him. He drives... He liked his car opposite to Max, and that car's always going to be suited to Max because that's not it's Max Verstappen's Red Bull team. It's not like it's how it was like with Vettel, where it was Vettel's Red Bull team, it's now Max's Red Bull team. And then but Weber was a much better number two compared to what Albon can be, compared to what Gasly could have been because they were young learning. And with Gasly, and basically already futured away from the Red Bull family. He's almost got a built-up seat ready for him at Alpha Tauri. Then you can have a shootout with Sonoda on whoever's quicker. You're in the Red Bull for the following year. So I think Checo will get one more year after this Red Bull year because he's got an option to extend. It'd be interesting. I feel like Perez is either going to be a do-or-die season for Max. He's either going to show Max as in this is Max's Red Bull Um, or it's going to show, well, you've never really had any competition before. How are you now going to deal with the fact that you now have got competition in your team? Um, Oh, yeah. I think Perez will get told at points to let Max go, and he'll just basically say, no, I'm Perez. This is my chance to prove myself. He had previous bad experiences at McLaren when he was a lot younger. He's got the stripes now to say, hey, I've got as much chance of winning as Max does here. Let me battle and show my face. And they've been, he's been told that he's equal driver to Max. He's probably not, but in some way, he's probably been told, at least until Max is further ahead in the championship, at least, that as long as you're up to getting results, they'll let him go on with it, if you get what I mean. They, I don't think Red Bull and Latina are going to tell Perez to get out the way like Ferrari or a Mercedes have done in the past. Yeah, I have very much two minds with with Red Bull. I think it's either going to show Max's good side or it's going to show Max's bad side um, of how bad he can be. I think it's going to be very much either end. I don't think it will be in the middle. Um, Going back to Lewis as well, I would love to see him end his career at McLaren. I would love to see that happen. In my, It won't ever happen, but I would love to see it happening. It would be, be, be like the swan song, where he goes back, does what he needs to do at there, the, the company that gave him the opportunity to progress and move forward and go where he needed to go just to give that one final hurrah. But that's me personal. I don't think it's ever going to happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm saying... Yeah, and I think... Very the one he left. Yeah, so and for me, it's very much that's just my personal opinion. But Lewis is now in a situation where this is what Vettel wanted to be in, um, where he can control where he wants to go. He can control what happens um, for him uh, instead of a team where you're meant to be at. Um, just turn around to you and go, by the way, you're not here next year. We've got science coming in. 
Um, I think that's where Vettel wants to be and that's where he, he, he want, would like to be. I just can't see it happening. Um, yeah, I think that it's a lot less... Pro- I think both the Red Bull drivers are fairly safe in their seats for at least two years. Mac, I think Max will get more points than he did last year. But I think Perez will match him almost and be in and around of him. And maybe it possibly outscore him, but I think that Max will just perform to the same very high level again. And Perez, instead of doing the album where he's looked far behind, it will match him. And and I think Red Bull actually have an inside chance of a constructors championship here slightly compared to anyone else in the grid that isn't Mercedes. I think Mercedes will win it, but I think. Red Bull's gap will be a lot closer. I think Haas are going to do that. <laughs> Not a chance. Haas, Haas are shit. <laughs> <laughs> they are awful. But anyway, um, yeah, let's move on. We'll talk about 2022 at some point around the summer break, more likely, because a lot more will come up. But we're going to move on to our F1 fantasy team. I've built my team. These two have, and they're going to do it now. I'll talk through my pick. So we'll do pick each, and then I'll talk about my one. You'll do your picks. I'll pick, talk about my second pick. Right. And then, do you have to do? Do you have to pick a team for every single race? No, your team sticks, and then you can transfer. It's like Premier it League. Sticks. Oh, okay. 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 And then, but so we have created a league. I will link it in the description down below. I sent a link to Mark. You can put it in the description. You can join through that. And at the end of the season, whoever wins, I don't know, bragging rights. <laughs> That's a Can you just like give me it now? Give it you now. Have you seen your predictions? Exactly. This is going to work. It's not. It's I'm, just, not. I'm, just checking, I'm just checking Mark's Fantasy Football League. I'm in like the bottom quarter of Mark's Fantasy Premier League one. Why can't you have Hamilton as your first driver? You can. Well, that's not coming up on that. That sounds like a you problem, mate. <laughs> it probably is. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I have a feeling we've yeah, all picked I'm, one draw. I think we've all picked right. one of the same. I haven't picked anyone yet. We're all going to pick one of the same. You two pick yours first, and then I'll say, Monk's don't want to influence your picks. All right, I'll pick one. Okay, okay Mark, who have you picked? I've got Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, uh, let me guess, you pick Lewis? Have you not? I'm going, I'm, going from, I'm going from five to one. No, go one to five, go one to five. Oh, oh yeah, Lewis. Yeah, I'll pick Lewis. What a shock. No, Lewis is I mean, yeah, why would you pick this? The temptation of picking Mazepin, by the way. 33 mil. Jeez. Yeah, this age a lot. He's the best driver on the grid. Of course he costs, like, the budget. Good point. Okay, I've second got 66 driver. million pound left. I think my team is set up to smash this, by the way. I think I've picked the best team you could pick. We'll go to. Well, oh, by the way, do your picks. Do your picks in monetary value. So, like your second pick, is your second. I don't know what I'm meant to. Okay. And we'll do cars last because their budget is a bit different. It's I the same want to scroll down. Oh, there we go. Okay, Mark, you yeah. you pick it as well. Now. I'm picking, but I've done it wrong. Oh God! Here we go. Uh, I've picked everything, but I've gone two million <laughs> over what I'm meant to be doing. Um, so I have to dial down some drivers or your car. I know this is quite this is quite hard to do. Um, I'm gonna get rid of him. I have I'm to already tweet, mate. I'm already sorted. I've got to pick two more drivers. Okay, we'll go to your second picks now. Or your second pick, Connor. So your second most expensive pick. 
I'm still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still there now. Have you not done Jesus, lads? Chop, chop. And I can't say mine because I don't want you lot just picking the same team as me. All right, I've done it. I've done mine. I'm two million in budget. I've done it. I don't know. Let me check how much in budget I am. I'm 1.1 in budget. Okay, I'm 1.2 now. I've just changed left. something. I've just changed something. So, yeah. How much are you in budget? Who, me? Yeah. 1.2. Oh, I was good. We might have the same pairs here. I'm I feeling we're very, very... Oh, we might be... I don't know. You might be very close. In Connor, how are you getting on? You're always I the fucking Mark, slowest. I, 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 I actually feel that Mark's that kind of guy. He'll pick like Hamilton and Mercedes and Verstappen and then just pick Mazepin, <laughs> Schumacher and Matilda. I wish because I was that guy, but I've really thought about this as well. And I've really gone for, I want the whole board to work instead of what I normally do, where I just hope one person does really well. And then I just hope everything else falls into place. Oh, where this I've, one, I've really I've thought about. I see Premier League who just picks like the three most expensive strikers at the start. Oh, yeah. I've got Calvert Lewin, I think Harry Kane, and Ings. I think they're my strikers at the moment. And I haven't changed them since the start of the season. I can't be bothered. So. Mine's, I changed mine, but mine did all for this weekend. I had Pedro's back in San Antonio. Mm, I haven't even looked at my fantasy football for ages. I'm going to look at that. Well, Connor, how are you getting on? You done, Connor? I, I'm finished. I'm finished. So it's your second most expensive picks. Yeah. We'll go to Connor first. Uh, Claire. Claire. Mark? Uh, my second most expensive pick is Carlos Sainz. Oh, my second most expensive is Chico Perez. Of course it was. I knew he had to be in there. He had to be in there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He's my boy. I hate Red Bull, but he's my boy. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Third most expensive picks. Um, uh, Lando. Lando Norris. Mark. Lando Norris. <laughs> oh, I got Lando. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, of course. Of course you did. Fourth most expensive picks. Connor Rose. Uh, Esteban Ocon. I was going to pick him, but he didn't make my team. Mark Robson. I assume you have Ocon. I'm going to fucking change. I'm not having the same as that. No, 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 no. I'm not having you the can... same as him. I no, refuse. you can't change. You can't change. Well, I might have, because I might have accidentally pressed the button. <laughs> I might have accidentally <laughs> pressed the button now. I'm changing now. Oh, for fuck's sake, Connor. Sometimes I just want to slap you around the face. Yeah, I went for Ocon. Yeah, stick with Ocon. I went, my boy, my other boy, my little Japanese boy. Big Yuki. I'm not going to lie. That sounds a bit dodgy there. That sounds a bit dodgy. He is tiny, though. He's like five foot one. He's probably he might need not a booster cool. seat. Um, yeah. Have you seen the thing that Alpha Tauri did where they put a thing on Twitter where they say, we're getting ready for Yuki Tsunoda to join the team. It's like a stepmother to get in the car. <laughs> 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 Let me just Google this. Yeah, oh, I spelled his name right as well. Love that. He's five foot two. He, he must do well because you know how like being small and light helps like helps the car and that. Mm. Imagine that he must have the biggest advantage going. He's five two and like scrawny. I thought you were going to say something else then. I thought you were going to say something completely different. But anyway. Yeah, we were a little weirdo, so should. Sure. <laughs> right, I'm who's Mr. the last driver? Uh, Mr. George to the Russell. Connor, Mr. you've got George, George Russell. Russell. Mark. Sonoda. How's that your... What? You must have a Williams or a Hats as your car. Nope. How have you afforded this? <laughs> All your drivers are, like, mega expensive. I mean, no, to be fair, I have Perez at, like, 18.4. Yeah, you've got Perez. I've got 
uh, so my drivers are Hamilton, Sainz, Sonoda, Norris, Ocon. Yeah, but they're all like, well, other than Sonoda being 8.8, they're all like $10 million plus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. What car have you got then? I'm not going first on this one. Oh, I've just told you you are. I'm the host. Uh, uh, I've you got McLaren. Work. How have you afforded that? I've got McLaren. Oh, Paris budget. I've got McLaren. No, yeah. for fuck's sake! <laughs> I feel it's the safe choice is McLaren. Bullshit. I'm calling yeah, bullshit. Oh, we got to select a, your turbo driver. I've already done that. Oh. I've done that. Who's your... Oh, wait, no, wait for my speaking. This is kind of like being your captain in a, a fantasy football. Yeah, I've picked mine. Who's yours? Me or Connor? Yeah, uh, we'll go Connor. Lando Norris. Mr. Mark Robson. Uh, I went for Carlos Carlos. Yeah, I went for Paris. So we've all gone for like one of our more expensive ones. Just because I think Paris will do quite well. So yeah. And I obviously think that I will be champion of league because my team is... Absolutely lovely. Quality team. Join with the code. So we're going to join now. That was that was quite fun, actually. Oh yeah, that was quite fun. With the code as well. So if you guys don't watch the well, NFL um, podcast, what we do on there and what we've done is. <sighs> Is that uh, we had to um, do a Super Bowl predictions, um, and the the loser had to um, how do I put this? Do a video about why the other We've person this before. is the greatest. Before. Yeah, we have. Um, this will now be my third time making a video. <laughs> <laughs> as me and Ellie both went for the Kansas City Chiefs um, and Josh oh, went, for, went for his glory hunting team in uh, Tampa Bay I got, um, I got on a spinning wheel <sighs> quickly so oh, wait, can we just, uh, should, what we should I'm do fat. What, no quickly what we should do is so between us three I'll what we're going to do is, I'm telling this now. So how our prediction game will work is we're going to do our top three predictions and you get a point for each one right for quality in the race. Mm -hmm. Adds are, so if you're at the end of the season, so let's say, Connor, will you predict you know to be 18th? So let's say, no, let's say Sonoda finishes eighth. Connor gets 10 for how many you are off, you get that many minus off your score. So some real like top gear production going into this. So yeah. let's say we will predict Lewis to finish first. Let's say he finishes last, we all get minus 19. 18. Yeah, so let's say Sonoda finishes eight. Connor will get minus 10 on his score. Oh, and then for how yeah. many, so how many you're off, yeah. you get that minus off. So let's say, I don't know, something like, yeah, but and then in this league as well, the top three finisher out of us three gets 20 added on, second gets 10 added on, and last gets minus five. Oh, that's a good one. All right, then. While we're and here... Let me just quickly go through how the points work. So you know how your points are going to work. I think we so can work it out. So in Q... No, for like this. Oh, all right. So for getting to Q, finishing in Q1, which is everyone, you get one point. To Q2, you get two points. Q3, you get three points. If you qualify in front of your teammate, you get two points. If you don't qualify, you get minus five. If you get disqualified from qualifying, you get minus ten. So if you pick Mazepin, you're finished. Temptation was there, though. If you get pole position, you get <laughs> ten points. And then it works down second, nine, third, eight, down to tenth. If you finish tenth, you get a bonus point. If you finish the race, you get plus one. If you finish the race, for each position gained, you get 
um, per place you get two points, but you get max points of 10. So if you improve by five positions, you get 10 points. But if you go up by six, you still only get 10 points. Finish in front of your teammate is three. Fastest lap is five. Start the race in the top 10, but finish outside the top 10. For each position you drop, you lose two. Um, by lost positions, you get minus two. And obviously, same with the max cap of 10. So if you start at 10... Can I just ask, are you going to be, are you going to be sorting out the lead? I've got all the codes and stuff, yeah. Because I have no clue. I yeah, have I've no got it all. clue. I'll do all the maps and stuff. Don't worry. I'm the brains. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was quite loud. Uh, foundation maps, yeah. Foundation maps, I love that. If you're not classified, so if you crash out of a race, you get minus 15 points. So for each DNF, you get minus 15. Ooh. You're trying to kill us. And I'll tell you what, I tell you what, like, if you someone is going to finish class. on minus. It'd be Connor. Yeah, obviously. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, for the constructors, there's a streaks thing. So let's say both drivers qualify in the top 10 for three races in a row. They get 10. So us all picking McLaren, that's like if McLaren get 10th and 9th, 6th and 5th, and then 8th and 3rd. For three races, you get bonus 10 points. Before we get into any further, yeah, let's talk about let's discuss it live on here. Yeah, uh, whoever finishes last has to do a forfeit. Yeah, so let's work out what that forfeit is now. So, video has been very popular. Yeah. And I certainly don't want to do another one because that would have made four. I have done. If I just, in... if I just have to do another one for me, you'd have had to have done what twelve minutes? <sighs> no, you did five the first time, four the second time, so that's nine. Yeah, oh, I'm God. not doing any more on you. I, I will. I will rage quit the podcast and just never do it again if it comes down to it. Um, I'll set up another one and just uh, won't ever do it. Um, so we can do video. Can there was talk. Can I just say something that Mark suggests a forfeit, and then we'll pick one that he thinks is really bad, and he always ends up having to do the forfeit. Yeah, that's why I'm not picking the forfeit. I'm I'm not picking it because every time I've picked one, I've had to fucking do it. So if I don't, my logic is is if I don't pick it, I ain't doing it. So Connor, Connor, throw, pick a forfeit. Connor, pick a forfeit. Connor, think of a forfeit that we have to do that has to go on YouTube and, yeah, it has to go on YouTube or or it has to be shown on YouTube, whatever the forfeit is. Okay, right. What is the worst track in F1? We all have to agree, agree, agree on it. The worst track. Oh, this is interesting. Abu Dhabi. I'm going to say Russia. Well, we we need to agree on one so I can get to my next point. Uh, we'll go Abu Dhabi. Go. Yeah. You have to record yourself. Abu Dhabi, 100% on 2020. No, what's the worst one to drive on the game, though? 100% on Monaco. Yeah. 100% on Monaco. On the... Okay. 100% Monaco, and you have to sit there and record yourself throughout the whole thing. If I lose, I'll stream it. Can I Can I add another little That's it. caveat? Can I add another little caveat to this? Yeah. You, must you have to do it in fancy dress. Yeah, no, you have to do it in a Williams. 100% <laughs> in a Williams at Monaco for the fourth. <laughs> on Monaco on, on F1 2020. Yeah. Mark is, Mark is sat there dying inside. Is that fair, Mark? Um, no, oh, fuck me. Um, all right, we have to do it where it has to find a way that Josh has to stream it. So it will go on yeah. Twitch and then we can put it onto YouTube where you guys have to be there um, when we do it. So. Make sure, so that makes it harder. Huh? If you do it, it can work because I can sit in your lobby whilst you do it. 
Yeah, and you can watch or um, that's fine. If Connor does I it, could, then we don't know. I what. could use his Twitch account. I have to remember what the password is first, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, could do that. And then, um, what's the fair way of doing it? What's another fair way of doing it? Because you could get, you're not allowed to like, we'll put, because I don't want you like just crashing out after like, five minutes and be like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> you have to damage off. No, because if you damage off, you can just punt everyone. That was what I was hoping. We'll go reduce damage. You have to start from the back. Oh, fuck off. It's a lobby on your own. It's just you. Oh, no. no. If Mark does it, if Mark does it... No, no, it's just you. It's no, just no, you. No, 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 no. It's just Mark you. It, no, 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 no. Because if Mark does it, I can spectate him doing it on stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's he saying? Hold yeah. on, hold on. Why are we not talking at all that Josh could be doing it? Why is it if Mark does it? Why am I, why am I the one being the scapegoated out of it? I know that at some because point during the season, account. I will take risks and I will get bored and just go fuck it in a bucket. And I understand that that's going to happen. But can we Wait, just not... Is this, is this for the predictions we did the last time as well? No, uh, we're, talking, we're talking about our top three predictions. Mark will get bored halfway through the season and predict like, Lando Norris to win in Belgium or something. Oh, OK, OK. So what's the, what's the forfeit for the other one? No, it's all accumulative. It's all accumulative. Oh, so it all goes together. This ta- so this table, the whole like season predictions constructed and stuff, and our points predictions for third place onwards, everything gets added up. The whole whole shebang. I really, I really do hope you did pass match. Yeah, I did. I got five. Good. It won't be hard to do maths because Mark can just count up the points. I can do the table and then uh, the standings is quite easy because I can just put in like searching names and put Connor Rose. Oh, he finished on minus a thousand. Decent. He gets that as well. Mark, minus a thousand and one. <laughs> Me, like a million points. He just loses by one point to me. I'm going to have to cheat. But- I'm going to have to find a way of cheating. There's no way to cheat, Mark. This is my you way. think there's no way of cheating? You haven't met me yet. I find a way of robbing the bank and Monopoly without anyone knowing. So I will definitely find a way of winning this without anyone realising. Mm. I am not bucking doing <laughs> Monaco on my Mark. own. Mark it- tried to cheat our last one and just didn't give me a point because Verstappen got a P3 in qualifying, didn't give me the point. <laughs> <laughs> I still okay. had to do it though. Stop crying about it. Yeah, because yeah, I went back and caught you. So you're right, so, so the it. only is right. Okay, okay. So this is so that I've just thought of something, right? So me and Josh have got a PlayStation, so he can spectate and put it on Twitch, and we can talk on Twitch while everyone watches. So unfortunately, Connor hasn't got Twitch, so he has to have a separate forfeit for himself. So the separate forfeit for him is he has to sit down in front of a camera and for eight minutes each... Oh, eight hold minutes. on, hold on. How, how long's eight, Monaco? Eight. How long's Monaco to drive around on the F1 game? I think it's... What? I think it's 70 100%, 100%. Yeah. Um, I'll Google how long it took in real life. Actually, no, because that's too harsh. Um, that, that will just okay, be the most... Like four, he'll have to do three hours if he does eight. Yeah. So, Connor has to do ten minutes each on me and Josh why we are the greatest that have ever existed. Oh. Oh. I was going to say, so I wonder what? if he's waffled, but... So, Connor if I waffled finish last... An hour and a half about us each. Connor has to waffle about us each for an hour and a half. Yes. <laughs> That's where I was going to go with it, right? So, if I finish last, I have to do the full Monaco 100% in a Williams car with no other car there, and I have to drive around it um, with Josh spectating. If Josh comes last, fucking hope he does, he has to drive around Monaco while I spectate, and I'm going to watch as well, live, and I'm going to be the most annoying twat on the Twitch stream um, towards Josh, where he has to go around Monaco doing 100%. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If Connor 
finishes last, you have to do a t a twenty minute video, ten I'll minutes. On, oh, yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, ten minute video on why twenty minute video. Why ten can't minutes I do on Monaco? me. Twenty I'm minutes. No, and then ten minutes on Josh. Why we are the greatest that have ever existed, and. You cannot say a few words and then pause for the next nine minutes. You have to consistently talk all the way for you, through and it will be posted on YouTube. I've got a Twitch account. I don't care. <laughs> you've got to do this one because you've never uh, experienced... No, 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 no. To be no, fair, no, that's that never experienced it, neither have I. You've never experienced the possibility of it coming up to this. Yep. I say we just do the Monaco. No, nope. uh, you, you, you're too bad, Connor. That's what we'll do, what we'll do I didn't know Mark, today. What we'll do for meal Mark is we'll set it up so there's only two people driving. It'll be Mark and me, but Mark can just like drive around slowly watching me, or I can drive around watching Mark from like behind. Well, Mark can get a DNA. We'll put it on no, or no, because we'll put it on no collisions, no damage. No collision, no damage. Like, so you can't hit each other and there's no damage. And I can just sit there and watch Mark go round and round and round. You could just spectate, can't you? You don't have to drive around. I think I don't you can think just, I spectate. Can just spectate. I don't think I can just spectate and you drive around on your own. I think you can. I think if we could can, see that. If you can, we'll do that. Yeah. So that's the forfeit then. So we're all in agreement. So that's what the forfeit is. I haven't agreed to this. I Too haven't bad. agreed yeah, but you to pull, it. Yeah, but you pull bottom rank, so you don't get a chance to agree. Also, I pull Too rank because I own this podcast and the whole system. Josh right, pulls exactly. rank because he's, he's the one that hosts the podcast. So technically, technically, and it's because I can now pull rank on certain things, I'm putting rank on this. And unfortunately, Connor, I feel me and you have pulled rank a lot recently. Yeah, it's not fair. It's not yeah. fair. Not hold on, hold on. How is it not fair? I've got to drive around the track for about an hour and a half on the track I fucking despise. While I want to go to the track, you just have no, to do a 20 minute not. video on talking of why we're the greatest. It's not hard. I, d I did five minutes, Josh. He's I done like another Monaco. five. He's marked on ten already. <laughs> I like Monaco. Oh, the, so you like can't drive around Monaco. it then. That's why you're not doing this, because yeah, okay. you just admit to liking it. Okay, I'll pick a different one. No. no. Too bad, so sad. You lose. Oh, we could give him... No, we could oh, give him... No, what I'm is, we could give him Singapore, because that one takes about two hours. Can, we oh, do the, can, can I do the French one? No, because that's the quickest one. Yeah, that's like me going, can I do Austria? It takes about an hour to do it. <laughs> yeah, you're dum, 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 dum. No, I was going, no, because well, no, that's quick as well. That doesn't, that's Singapore, long. Singapore is the, Singapore or Spa, but I think Singapore is the longest one. So I think if you desperately, we should do Singapore, because Singapore takes about two hours, about an hour and 45 minimum. I wish I could do this one, to be fair. Now, Monaco, like, you saying you like Monaco is like saying you eat dry cereal or you put the milk <laughs> before the tea bag. <laughs> dry cereal is good sometimes. You're just, no, wrong, wrong. As a small snack. Wrong. As a small snack. No, you still have milk. Not if you're eating out the box. Right, that's it. I'm pulling so right, and that's like the box. end of discussion. Right, this is what's going to happen. If me and Josh that's finish last... That's a poll up saying, do you eat dry cereal like we did the Pringles one? Uh, yeah, we will Yeah, we will do something. Uh, so what will happen is, me, if me or Josh finish last, we will be streaming on Twitch, doing 100% around Monaco, uh, just driving around, having to do that, do the quickest time, all this and all of that, try and get that fucking thing done as quickly as you can. Um, or, uh, and if Connor finishes last, he has to do a 20-minute video 
or 10 minutes on me Ooh. and 10 minutes on Josh on what, why we are the greatest people to ever exist on this earth. Um, and that will be posted on YouTube. Um, when does the season finish? November. 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 Is it November? Damn it. That wasn't what Ooh, I was New F1 might be out. We might be able to do the Saudi Arabian track if that's really bad. I'm not, no, that's going to be really good. I haven't seen that it's going to be amazing. It's going to be the best track on, on there, by the way. If any Saudi Arabian that's watching this um, wants to sponsor yes, us, we to love come you, out, Saudi. Shush, shush, wants us to come out and um, do a live blog and hype you guys up and say how good your track is and get everyone watching it. And you could put us up in one of the nice little hotels and maybe every so often if WWE ever come out there, because I know they've got a contract for two fights a year to come out there, just throw us tickets our way. And, right? We don't care about the blood really money. We don't care where the money comes from. Okay. We have no worries in that. You could do something to a journalist. We don't care. It, don't know. But we will be there for you if you need us. Hello. Yes, we love you. We love you, Saudi. Go, Saudi. Yes, up the Saudi. So the last race in um, this season is the 10th to the 12th of December. Jesus. It's a long season. Yeah. So the video will be released Christmas Day. If Connor if Connor loses the stream won't be on Christmas. No, we won't because we want to spend time with our families. So the stream won't be out. So if Connor loses, the video will be out Christmas Day. No, 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 no. Christmas Eve it will be out. So everyone can suck all on it on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day. Oh, yeah, because are we going to do another Christmas Day thing? Like, Most probably. Day? Most probably. Oh, I've got to turn up to that, don't I? Most so I the last one. Unless I sack you before then. But, yeah. I won the last one, so... Yeah, unless I sack you, then you might not be there. True. So. That's a smart one. If I'm losing, I can just get sacked and then I don't have to do the forfeit. If you're losing, then I will force you around until you do the forfeit and then sack you. That's how much of a knob I and am. It- three races to the guard miles after hands in notice <laughs> yep and I won't ever accept that until the end and you've done your forfeit um, so yeah so check that out that's going to happen that's going to happen uh, Connor, looks right now. Connor looks so upset no, I'm thinking because I I need to sort of work it out and, and then I'll don't worry, you got about 10 months yet. Yeah, you've only got, you got, ten, got months. 10, 11 months. You'll be all right. No. By the way, I know what I you're thinking about, and I know you might not be around at that point. You might be off in, in yeah. doing where you need to be going. I don't give a fuck That's where you fun. are. You are still making that video, and you are still sending it over to me if you lose. I don't care. No, I don't care what's going on. You even you even tell whoever that person is that's looking after you. Go pile away. I need to miss the first ten minutes, twenty minutes of what I do because I need to make a video explaining why my two other people I work with uh, on the podcast I do are the greatest. I don't care. You this video will be released on Christmas Eve because we all know that because of your predictions, you are going yeah. to lose. Because looking back, his predictions are gone. Why have I done this? Yep. So what we'll do is is um, we've got. I need to work it out. How long have we got till the start of the F one season? Fifty something days, less than that now. I think it's forty something days now. I think forty something, thirty something. I don't know. Let me have a look. I'm gonna go just over, over a month. Yeah, testing maybe. will be too. Yay, we love testing. Sunday the twenty eighth of March. Um. So it is 45 days, 46 because we've recorded this the day before, 45 days until the start of the F1 season. So just before that happens, we will be releasing a graphic on each dry. Oh, and beginning next week, all the new cars are getting released and what they oh, look like. McLaren. Yes. Yeah, McLaren are doing it and then Mercedes are doing it soon as well. They're all coming out. Um and we've got pre-season testing on March the 12th to the 14th. So it's coming closer. Um, all coming across. We will be releasing the graphics. That it's, been a long will... it's been a very long pre-season. Yes. Um, and we will be releasing that. We will be um, 
building up to it as well. But oh, Connor, 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 Connor. How how do you feel about that? You're going to be doing the video. So you're so, so you know that it's twenty minutes. So it's at least at least ah, that's fine. Um, that's a good one. Josh, do you think we should just not do it and just let Connor just do the video now? Because there's no point in doing it because oh. because he's not going to win. Let's be honest. Well, she's sending you to like to know, lose, you have it scheduled for Christmas Eve. You know when you can do like the YouTube premieres, who just have that sat there for like ten months premiering for Christmas Eve. I would love to do that. That would be oh, so fun. I've got lots. What have I got myself into? Oh, you uh, just knew that one. Going to happen. It's going to be interesting. Anyway, let's wrap up, lads. Yes. So Colin can go manifest his life decisions. <clears throat> and I need a poo. Yeah, as per. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, everybody, for watching this podcast. We've seen Connor be a melonhead and realise he's in the bin. Me and Mark are in a safe zone. And... Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Don't worry, in December time, we will, on Christmas Eve, there will be a video of Connor Rose. 20 minutes. Yes. It'll be great. I won't be having to stream any of mine and Mark's shenanigans on F1. It'll make By the way, I'm so still difficult. waiting for you to uh, try and fight me on F1 We're again. Planning, I'm go I've got an idea, which I need to sort out. All right. Right. Love you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.